Hello my dear students. We are learning subject physics in that chapter number 6, superposition of waves. Student, this is the last lecture from this chapter because theoretical syllabus or theoretical part from this chapter is completed. So, in today's lecture, we are going to solve some important numericals from this chapter. But, before solving numericals, let us revise some important formulas that will be helpful at the time of solving of the numericals. So, let us see about the some important formulas. First formula is that the velocity of a wave is given by V is equal to N lambda. This can be also written as lambda upon T because N is equal to 1 upon T where n is the frequency, t is the periodic time. Second formula is a wave number which is represented by k is equal to 2 pi upon lambda. Third one is the angular velocity denoted by a symbol omega is equal to 2 pi upon t. This can be written as 2 pi n because 1 upon t is equal to n. Next formula is a phase difference denoted by delta is equal to 2 pi x upon lambda. Next formula is the path difference denoted by symbol x is equal to lambda upon 2 pi into delta. Next, the equation of a simple harmonic progressive wave which is given by y is a function of xt is equal to a sin kx minus plus omega t. Next uh, formula from the article superposition of the waves which is given by the A is re represent as a resultant amplitude is equal to under root of A1 square plus A2 square plus 2 times A1 A2 cos phi. In that also I max means maximum intensity is nothing but the square of a addition of the amplitude that is A1 plus A2 bracket square. And I minimum means minimum intensity is equal to square of a subtraction of the amplitude that is A1 minus A2 bracket square. Next formula from the article equation of a stationary wave which is given by y is equal to 2a cos of 2 pi x lambda into sine of 2 pi n t. So then after modifying this equation, uh, this can be written as y is equal to capital R sine 2 pi n t where R represent as a 2a cos 2 pi x upon lambda. Then next article was vibrations in a closed pipe. In vibrations in a closed pipe in that fundamental frequency n is given by V upon 4L where capital L is equal to small l plus E. Small l is nothing but the length of the pipe E is the uh, end correction and capital L is the vibrating length. Now, the next formula is that equation for the frequency of a pith over tone, which is given by NP is equal to 2P plus 1 into N. And first over tone is equal to third harmonic. In case of the vibrations in a closed pipe, only odd harmonics are present. Now, the next article was vibrations in an open pipe. In that, the fundamental frequency is given by the formula n is equal to v upon 2l where capital L is equal to small l plus 2e. In, a, in case of a pipe when open at both end, the end correction is nothing but the twice e. Then next formula is equation for the frequency of the pith over tone is given by np is equal to p plus 1 into n. In that case, first over tone is equal to second harmonic. The vibrations in a open pipe, in this case, all harmonics are present. Now, the for, um, formula is from the article vibrations in a string. In that, fundamental frequency is given by n is equal to 1 upon 2l under root of t upon m. Then, laws of vibrations. There are three laws. That first 
first one is nothing but n is inversely proportional to n l this law is called as a law of a length second is nothing but the law of a tension uh, which is nothing but n is directly proportional to under root of t and third one is n is inversely proportional to root m this law is called as a law of linear density and the formulas from the article the formation of a bit in which the bit frequency is given by capital n is equal to n1 minus n2 and period of a bit is given by period is the reciprocal of frequency or frequency is the reciprocal of period then t is equal to 1 upon n1 minus n2 this is all about the important formulas from this chapter Now let us solve the numericals one by one. Students, keep the book with you while solving the numericals. Now I am reading the first example. Example number is one, but in a book uh, it is uh, denoted by Roman uh, letter as a five. Now I am reading example. The amplitude of a wave is represented by y is equal to 0.2 sin 4 pi in bracket t upon 0.8 minus x upon 0.8 in SI units. Find a wavelength, frequency and amplitude of the wave. Now, student, at the time of solving of the problems, First of all, write down the given things. Then, what we have to find and then solution. If you find any numericals, find the problem. If you have any numericals, find the problem. If you have any parameters, find the problem. If you have any numericals, find the quantities. Find out the quantities. Find out the solutions. Now, in this equation or in this problem, we have given the equation as y is equal to 0.2 sin of 4 pi. In bracket t upon 0.08 minus x upon 0.8. Now we have to find the wavelength means lambda, frequency means n, and amplitude as a n. Now for, for this purpose, the solution is that first of all write down the given equation as y is equal to 0.2 sine of 4 pi t upon 0 0.08 minus x upon 0 0.8. Now, after simplifying this equation, this new equation becomes 2.2 sine of 2 pi in bracket t upon 0 0.04 minus x upon 0 0.4. Now, we have the equation. We know the equation as y is equal to a sine 2 pi and t minus x upon lambda. This is the standard equation. Now, com by comparing this, by comparing equation 1 with equation 2 then we get the values as after comparing the value of n is equal to because here n is the coefficient of t so in this equation the coefficient of t is in this equation the coefficient of t is 1 upon 0 0.04 therefore 0 0.04 0 0.04 is nothing but the 100 upon 4 Final value is 25 hertz. Means frequency or value of a frequency is 25 hertz. Now next quantity is a wavelength. Now wavelength uh, uh, lambda here 1 upon lambda is the coefficient uh, uh, of x. So here 1 upon lambda is equal to from in this equation coefficient of x is 
1 upon 0 0.4 then from this the value of a lambda is equal to 0.4 and lambda is the wavelength which is measured in meter so unit is meter now amplitude here a is the amplitude and in this equation by comparing the value of a unit is 0.2 then a is equal to 0.2 meter amplitude also measure in meter in this way we calculated the values of a frequency wavelength and amplitude a now next problem problem number two but in book that problem number is nothing but the uh, 11 the problem is that a sound wave in a certain fluid medium is reflected at an obstacle to form a standing wave the distance between two successive node is 3.75 cm if the velocity of the sound is uh, 1500 meter per second find the frequency now first of all write down the given things given is that distance between two successive nodes That is, we know very well the distance between two successive nodes and two successive anti node is lambda by 2 is given that 3.75 centimeter. Convert it into meter as 3.75 into 10 raised to uh, 10 raised to minus 2 meter. The velocity is given that 1500 meter per second. Now, here we have to find out the value of a frequency of a sound wave that is the value of n now solution is that we have or we know that the formula v is equal to n lambda as lambda by 2 is equal to 3.75 into 10 raised to minus 2 therefore lambda is equal to multiply this by 2 then uh, this value becomes 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter then substitute this value of lambda in this equation v is equal to n lambda then v is equal to n lambda uh, then we have to find out n then n is equal to v upon lambda the value of v is given that 1500 upon lambda is 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 now 10 raised to minus 2 goes on numerator and this value becomes 10 raised to plus 2 and this 2 means can be written as 15 into um, 10 raised to 4 upon 7.5 now n is equal to after simplifying or solving this equation or this equation can be 150 upon 75 into 10 raised to 4 then after um, uh, division this value becomes as a uh, 2 into 10 raised to 4 n is equal to if we write as a 20 into 10 raised to 3 then uh, from this the unit of this is nothing but 20 kilo hertz this is the frequency of a sound wave according to this problem now next problem problem number 3 book madhe ha problem number 13 hai the problem read karte. two sound waves travel at a speed of 330 meter per second if their frequencies are also identical and are at equal to 450 hertz 
What will be the phase difference between the two waves at points 3.5 meter from one source and 3 centimeter from the other if the sources are in phase? Problem मधे दिले ले given things में इतना आदिस लोग उनके ले ले आए अपने ला दिले ले हैं velocity v is equal to 330 meter per second जो दोगी sound wave चल speed या ठीक आनी सरका है अन्य तंचा frequency देख ले सरके जाए g value दिले ले आए n is equal to 4 540 hertz now what will be the phase difference between the two waves? Okay, the phase difference card is delta phi is equal to 0. Two waves at a point 3.5 meter from one source and 3 meter from the other source. Source person, the distance is equal to 3.5 meter and x2 is equal to 3 meter. Then what is the uh, value of uh, phase difference? If the sources are in phase. Now we know that the formula for the phase difference delta phi is equal to 2 pi lambda into delta x. Then this equation can be written as delta phi is equal to 2 pi lambda. Delta x is nothing but uh, x1 minus x2. Now here we want the value of lambda for this purpose. We know the equation V is equal to N lambda. Therefore lambda is equal to V upon N. Then velocity is given as a 330 upon N as a 540. Then after solving or by division this value becomes 11 upon 18. New lambda so unit is a meter. Uh, now consider this equation as a 1 and therefore equation 1 becomes delta phi is equal to 2 pi value of a lambda substitute as a 11 upon 18 into x1 minus x2. x1 is a 3.5 minus x2 is nothing but the 3. Then delta phi is equal to 2 pi into 18 upon 11 into 0.5 this 0.5 can be written as one half therefore delta phi is equal to delta phi is equal to 2 pi into 18 upon 11 into one half this two to get cancelled then after simplifying delta phi is equal to 18 pi upon 11 then by dividing 11 to 18 then this value becomes 1.636 into pi means delta phi is an nearly equal to 1.64 pi and this is the value of a phase difference when the two sources are in phase Now, next problem, problem number 4. But in book, the number of this problem is 14. Problem is that two wires of the same material and same cross sections area are stretched on a sonometer. One wire is loaded with 1.5 kg and another is loaded with 6 kg. The vibrating length of a first wire is 60 cm and its fundamental frequency of vibration is the same as that of the second wire, calculating the length of the other wire. Now here the given things are M1 and M2. Both wires are loaded with a mass as a uh, M1 is loaded as a 1.5 kg and that of the second wire loaded with a 6 kg. But here given that cross section area of both wires are same. So A1 is equal to A2. Also linear densities are same. Then M1 is equal to M2. In the problem given that vibrating length of the first wire which is denoted Mm, or consider as a L1 is a 60 centimeter means convert in meter as a 0.6 meter. Also the fundamental frequencies uh, or fundamental mode for the both of wires are same. So N1 is equal to N2. 
here we have to calculate the vibrating length of the second wire that is the value of L2. Now for this purpose the formula is that N is equal to 1 upon 2 LT upon M. Now solution uh, we have the N1 is equal to means uh, frequency uh, for the or formula for the frequency of the uh, first wire is given by N1 is equal to 1 upon 2 L1 under root of T1 upon M1 and that of second wire is given by N2 is equal to 1 upon twice L2 under root of T2 M2. But here given that N1 is equal to N2 and also M1 is equal to M2. So, comparing, uh, equating these uh, uh, equation, not comparing, equating these equations, N1 is equal to N2, then 1 upon 2 L1 into T1 upon M1 is equal to 1 upon 2 L2 into T2 upon M2. Now here 2 to get cancelled, then equation becomes 1 upon L1 under root of T1 M1 is equal to 1 upon L2 under root of T2 upon M2. Now, here we have to calculate the value of L2. So, this equation can be written as or uh, after uh, this, uh, before this step, um, squaring on both sides we get as 1 upon L1 square into T1 upon M1 is equal to 1 upon L2 square into T2 upon M2. Now, here we want to find the value of uh, L2. So, L2 square is equal to L2 goes on this side and these terms goes on this side. Then equation becomes L1 square into this T2 M2 and this side goes on um, here then becomes M1 upon T1. So, but here condition is that M1 is equal to M2. So, M1 M2 becomes same. So, M1 M2 get cancelled. Then L2 square is equal to L1 square into T2 upon T1. But here T is nothing but the tension. And tension T is nothing but the mg. Means applied mass into acceleration due to gravity. Here consider as a capital M means mass. Then L2 square is equal to L1 square. This T2 is equal to T1 is equal to M1 G and T2 is equal to M2 G. Then T2 is equal to M2 into acceleration due to gravity G and here M1 into acceleration due to gravity G. G G here get cancelled. L2 square is equal to L1 square into M2 upon M1. Now substitute the values of L1, M2 and M1. Then we get the values as the value of L1 in this problem is given as uh, 0.6 and M1 as a 1.5 and M2 as a 6. So the value of uh, L1 is a 0.6 and that square. M2 is nothing but the 6 and M1 is 1.5. Five. So, L2 square is equal to 0.6 square into this is a 60 upon 15 means becomes 4 and this is 0.6 square L2 square. Now, taking square root of 
on both sides. Then L2 is equal to 0.6 into 2. Therefore, L2 is equal to 1.2 meter. And this is the vibrating length uh, for the second wind. Now, next problem. Problem number 5. But in book, the number of uh, this problem is a 17 number. Now, I read the problem. Find the fundamental first overtone and second overtone frequencies of a pipe open at both ends of a length 25 cm. If the speed of a sound in air is a 330 m per second. Here we have to find out the fundamental frequency, first overtone and second overtone. And at that time given things are L is equal to 25 centimeter. Convert it into meter. Then it becomes 0.25 meter. Velocity is given that V is equal to 330 meter per second. Now for this purpose the required formulas are fundamental frequency. When pipe is open at both end is given by N is equal to V upon 2N. And general equation for the overtone means for pith overtone is given by NP is equal to P plus 1 into, into N. Ja numbers overtone of Pala Kadai Sai, there is PC value the substitute currency. Now let us start the calculations or solution. Uh, in this case, the fundamental frequency is given by N is equal to V upon 2L. Now, substitute the value of V and L. V is nothing but the 330 and L is equal to 0 0.25. Therefore, 330 upon 2 into 0 0.25. That is a 330 upon 0.5. Then this becomes 330 and then uh, 0. Upon 5, then multiply and divide by 10, then this becomes. Then after division, these values become 5, 6, so this value becomes 660 hertz. 5 divided by frequency value 660 hertz. Now, also we have NP is equal to P plus 1 into N for pith overtone. Now here we have to calculate the we have to calculate the first overtone and second overtone. Then for first overtone substitute or put P is equal to 1 in this equation. Then this becomes N1 is equal to 1 plus 1 into N. That is nothing but the 2N. Therefore N1 is equal to 2 into value of n is 660, 660. Then final value becomes after multiplied 1320 hertz. Means first overtone is nothing but n1 is equal to 1320 hertz, 1320. Now for a second overtone, put p is equal to 2. In this equation, then equation becomes N2 is equal to 2 plus 1 into N. That is nothing but the thrice N. Then, 3 into value of N is 660 hertz. Then final N becomes, the value of N becomes here. I write here L2 is equal to after multiplying this value becomes 1980 hertz. Means here in this way we get the values of a fundamental frequency as a 660 hertz, then first overtone as a 1320 hertz, and that of the second overtone is 1980. Now let us start. The next problem, problem number 6. In textbook, number is 19. Problem is that a stream 1 meter long 
is fixed at one end and another end is move up and down with frequency 15 hertz. Due to this, a stationary wave with a four complete loops get produced. So, <coughs> on the string, find the speed of a progressive wave which produces this stationary wave. Here, condition is given that remember that moving end is an anti node. Now, from the problem. First of all, write down the given thing. Given thing is that a string is 1 meter long, that is the length is 1 meter. And another end is a move up and down with a frequency 15 hertz. So, end is 15 hertz. Then, due to this stationary wave, with the 4 complete loops get produced. Here, the stationary wave having 4 loops. Find the speed of a progressive wave which produces the stationary wave and remember that moving in is an anti node. So we know these points are nothing but the nodes and the amplitude, the maximum amplitude points are called as a anti node. So moving in is of anti node. <coughs> we have given that um, four loops. Now Distance between the node, node, node and node, we know very well. The distance between the node and node is a lambda by 2 and that of the anti-node is also lambda by 2. So, lambda by 2, there are the 4 loops. So, 4 times lambda by 2 plus 1 loop is half loop. Means, the distance between node and anti-node, that is nothing but the lambda by 4. So, here, <coughs> oh, by dividing 2, it becomes 2 lambda plus lambda by 4, that is 4, 4 into 2 as 8 plus 1, that is 9 lambda by 4. Now, we have Velocity V is equal to N lambda. For the first of all, find out the lambda. We have the vibrating length L is equal to 9 by 4 lambda. Then here as a L is equal to 9 by 4 lambda, then lambda is equal to 4 L upon 9. But L is equal to 1 meter, so 4 by 9 is nothing but the value of a lambda. Then Equation 1 becomes, substitute this value in this equation, we get V is equal to N lambda, so then value of, a, value of a V becomes, N is given that of 15 hertz, and that of a lambda is 4 by 9, then after simplifying 15 into 4 as a 60 by 9, then by dividing the uh, 3, get 20 by 3. Then final value of V becomes V is equal to 6.66 meter per second. That is nothing but the uh, speed of a progressive wave. Now, Next problem, problem number 8. Uh, in book, that number is a 21. A set of 8 tuning fork is arranged in a series of increasing order of frequencies. Each fork gives 4 beat per second with the next one end and the frequency of the last fork is twice that of the first. Calculate the frequencies of the first and last tuning fork. 
in this problem we have given that there are the set of eight tuning forks means suppose this is a first tuning fork this one is a second third and up to eight now each tuning fork gives a four bit per second that is bit frequency is four means n1 minus n2 is equal to four hertz then uh, um, means or this can be also considered as a n2 minus n1 is equal to 4 hertz now for the next tuning fork is a n3 minus n2 is equal to 4 hertz next as a n4 minus n3 is equal to 4 hertz up to n8 minus n7 is equal to 4 hertz now in problem it is given that the frequency of last frequency of a last tuning fork is twice the frequency of the first that is frequency of last tuning fork is twice that of the first this it can be written as n8 is equal to 2 times n1 it is given in our problem so here we have to calculate the frequencies of first and last fork that is find out the value of n1 and n8 now for this purpose first of all we have to find out the frequency difference between the tuning fork number 8 and 1 so n8 minus n1 is given by p minus 1 into bit frequency here p is nothing but the number of tuning forks given in the set therefore n8 minus n1 is equal to 8 minus 1 bit frequency is 4 then n8 minus n1 is equal to 7 into 4 therefore n8 minus n1 is equal to 28 now, uh, unit of a frequency is hertz. Means difference between the last and first tuning fork is nothing but the 20 hertz, 28 hertz. Also, in problem, it is given that the frequency of the eight tuning fork is twice of n1. So, n8. Now substitute this value in this equation. This equation consider as a second that is n8 minus n1 is equal to 28. In this equation substitute n8 is equal to 2 n1. So this equation becomes in place of n8 here we consider as a 2 n1 minus this n1 is equal to 28 hertz. 2n1 minus n1 as a n1 is equal to 28 hertz. So we have the first value of a n1 as a 28 hertz. Now for the purpose of value of n8, it is given that means this equation. N8 is equal to twice N1. Now substitute in this equation uh, value of N1 as a 28. Then we get the value of N8. Therefore N8 is equal to 2 into 28. Then after multiplying this value becomes 56 hertz. Means final answer is that the value of N1 is a 28 hertz that of the n8 is twice of the n1 so 28 into 2 becomes the 56 hertz now next problem of the number 8 in book number of this problem is a 23 now here i read the problem a sonometer wire of a length 
0.5 meter is stretched by a weight of 5 kg. The fundamental frequency of a vibration is 100 Hz. Calculate the linear density of wire. Means, in this problem given things are length of a wire is a 0.5 meter and um, is stretched by a weight of a 5 kg for for this means mass is a 5 kg. Fundamental frequency is also given as 100 Hz. Here we have to find the linear density means small m. Now we know that the formula as a fundamental frequency n is equal to 1 upon 2 l under root of t by m in case of the vibrating string where L is nothing but the vibrating length, T is the tension, M is the linear density or mass per unit length, small m. Now, for the purpose of uh, tension T, we have T is equal to mg. M here consider as a capital M, which is attached to the string and given is 5 kg. For T is equal to 5 into g is nothing but 9.8 then that value becomes 49 newton is nothing but the tension so above equation becomes n is equal to 1 upon 2 l under root of t by m substitute in this equation given values n is given 100 then 1 upon 2 into L is nothing but the 5 M into T. Here we have to calculate that value is nothing but 49 and remaining as a M. Then 100 is equal to 2 into 0 0.5 becomes 1 when remaining is 49 upon M. Now squaring on both sides. Then we get square of a <coughs> that is 100 square is equal to under root of 49 upon m square. 100 square is nothing but 10,000 is equal to 49 m. Here we have to find out the value of m. So this equation becomes m is equal to 49 upon 10,000 means 10 raised to 4. But this equation can be written as 49 into 10 raised to minus 4. Then, after this, m is equal to, as m is equal to 49 into 10 raised to minus 4, this value can be written as m is equal to 4.9 into 10 raised to minus 3 and unit of a linear density is a kilogram per meter. Now this is the value of a linear density means small m from this problem. Now student this is all about the numericals from this chapter. Dear students this is your turning year. So, study hard and get good marks in the 12th exam. Best wishes for the study.